blata orientalis cough with dyspnea suffocation feeling with great accumulation of mucus allergic bronchitis especially with the dust pollen and cold air it replaces use of inhaler and nebulizers here i would like to quote one clinical case how homeopathic medicine help an allopathic doctor towards homeopathy i had a patient who was doing pg in oncology a young boy of 35 years he was using inhaler for his breathlessness cough other problem he wanted to try homeopathy and wanted to get rid of his inhalers apart from the medicines like arsenic al and natrum sulf during the cold weather i gave him blata in mother tincture 10 drops twice daily and i am happy he has been converted to homeopathic medicines ever since we started blata and homeopathic medicines he is off his inhaler ever since maybe almost more than 6 months now i would also like to quote a fact from my practice about this blata i had a patient a young girl of 10 year old coming for her recurrent cold cough and wheezing so the father also used to come along with her and i had given blata for to improve her breathing ability and to reduce her breathlessness and wheezing after 4 to 5 days both father and daughter they came and uh, the child was definitely better the father said doctor my daughter is much much better there is no problem but what sort of medicine you have given one thing minded the father was totally illiterate he didn't know all about this google search or opening the dictionary or what is blata he didn't have any knowledge a totally illiterate person he said the medicine what you have given has a very very bad smell like a shit of a cockroach i was stunned for a moment when i heard the word cockroach from a illiterate person when i have prescribed him blata see as such we have never tested blata so we don't know how it smells this is the feedback given from my patient so i told him you just dilute it ask your daughter to pinch her nose and sip the water and she will be fine and very often i have seen after the blata she the child was so better and cured with blood so blata has got a very strong smell what he described it as a shit of a cockroach that is how the patient described the the pharmacy from which i used for him was from shawabe later on for this doctor i didn't want to have that you know bad smell so i brought it from a german company of redwig and prescribed to this doctor so he never came with the complaint of smell or anything later on in one or two patients i used sbr product i didn't utter any word because people are educated nowadays they go to the google they search what we have given they understand but none of the patient complained about this smell so from that time onwards those people who are affording i use requid which i suppose is without any bad smell and sbl i have no complaints till now the other medicine is oxal acid severe pains of neuralgia especially due to spinal disc prolapse very often the patient comes because they are in a state not to get operated or they are afraid of going to any spinal surgery 
because they have heard about the complications. They don't want to go for a surgery, but they have severe pain due to some disc problems. So that time, most excruciating pains, violent pains in spots, neuralgic pains in spermatic cord, pains worse paying attention. As long as the patient is busy in the work, they don't feel the intensity of pain. Either when they go to bed or when they are free from work, the attention goes on the pain and they, pay, they feel more painful. I, when I was going through the literature, I found this, of course, I have not treated any such allergies, but I found a symptom allergic to strawberries. After eating strawberries, the patient may get some allergic reaction. So we can think of oxalic acid in such cases. Coca. Very often my patients call me and they tell me, doctor, we are going to Manasarovara or we are going to Leh and Lada. So you give us your medicine. So altitude sickness. The typical symptoms what they get is Dizziness, dyspnea, and dullness. Three Ds, what we call for high altitude sickness. Many of the patients who go on these high altitude, they have complete loss of appetite, severe nausea. They just eat some nuts and all. In the bargain, they lose four to five kg of weight when they come down. So we can give this coca. I usually give in 30 potency and I ask them to take one dose on the previous night before going to the high altitude place. And when they feel the symptom, repeat the medicine every four hours. And very often after coming back, they have given the feedback. They didn't feel the altitude sickness. They could manage very well. So coca is the medicine where there is Fear of going to high altitudes, you can try out for all these phobias, phobia of mountain climbing, traveling in the aeroplane, going for a trekking, paragliding, or even using lifts. There is one funny sensation which I came across while reading the material. So I just noted it down here. Sensation as if a worm or small foreign bodies were under the skin, moving away when touched. Thallium. You may be knowing thallium is a very rare metal, but toxic in material doses. The great Indian philosopher Rajneesh Acharya, Acharya Rajneesh or Osho, when he was in American jail, it has been said he has been poisoned with low doses of thallium. So it is useful in all neuralgic and spasmodic pains. Here, typically the pain of thallium is described as an electric shock like. Usually when patient comes with such pains, we say it's a vitamin E deficiency and we prescribe them EV on thinking that that's a deficiency or all neuralgic pains. They prescribe neurokine, neurobion. So pains like electric shock. So that's how it is useful in diabetic peripheral neuropathy and muscular atrophy. Heridion. It's a poison of orange spider. The patient here, as you all know, is very sensitive to noise. They say it penetrates the body. It causes vertigo, nausea and omitting, migraine, which is worse on noise. Sensitive to touch and pressure. Here, I would like to describe a clinical case, a female aged around 45 years, nearing her menopause, 
she came for the complaints of headache her headache was worse during her menses and worse with the noise initially i was just thinking of natramur or sepia but the husband who came along with her he complained saying that doctor my wife has become very much sensitive to touch in these days he says forget about sexual intercourse the moment even a small innocent touch that is how the husband said a small innocent touch just holding her hand even by mistake if my hand falls on her shoulder she gets wild and angry so very much sensitive to the touch we usually say it's because of hypersensitive nerve due to b complex deficiency so for this patient i prescribed theridion which took care of her headache and slowly her sensitivity also reduced gun powder useful in septicemia infected wounds boils and pustules bites herpes of face and eyes scalp infections like small boils at the hair roots furunculosis it acts as a blood purifier you may be knowing about the gun powder as a war remedy a small booklet you all must have read it radium brown bad effects of radiation i often use that as an intercurrent remedy in all cases of rheumatoid arthritis psoriasis chronic pustular acne one of my patients she belongs to a doctor's family her brother her sister in law everyone is doctor in the family she is a known case of rheumatoid arthritis she is on allopathic medicine uh, some instead of 400 mg she takes half dose what they give allopathically but once in 2 3 months she gets severe pain in her joints she often comes to me give a dose of radium brown she said doctor your one dose helps me to get rid of the pain and next day i may give her some bryony a 30 twice daily within a week's time she feels better and again continues she doesn't have a will to stop the allopathic medicines and switch her to homeopathy because of the pressure in the family she doesn't want to do that but once in 2 3 months a dose of radium brown the very next day her pain disappears so we can try this medicine as a intercurrent medicine in rheumatoid arthritis all cases of pustular acne and also in psoriasis agnus castus impotency due to sexual abuse where the sexual act has been done indiscreetly without any limitations without any boundaries if that act is performed whether it is masturbation or the normal sexual act agnus castus helps as we say in impotency in males agnus while as the frigidity and lack of sexual desire in females we use sepia it is also useful in ogalexia when there is absence of milk in nursing women tellurium tellurium metallicum it's also a metal it acts on the skin circular eruptions of ringworm and barbers itch it also helps in the catarrh of the middle ear otitis media and tellurium the discharge has been described as a very fetid very irritating it is very acrid discharge what we call the moment it touches to the other parts of the ear you get blisters smells it has got a very bad foul smell smells like fish brine 
So otitis media, even eczema of the ear, tellurium is useful. Ill effects of spinal injuries or the falls, herniated disc. See this tellurium has got action on the upper back, like last cervical to fifth dorsal spine, C7 to T5. Cardus marianus. It is useful in varicose veins and varicose ulcers, hard thrombosed veins. It's primarily a liver and spleen remedy. Also useful in gallstone colic. Gallstone okay. colic establishes a healthy flow of bile, chronic liver weakness and cirrhosis of liver. Okay, thank you for giving me this opportunity. For um, infertility, what is your uh, protocol? Sepia 1M or 10M? Sepia 1M. Oh. Uh. Sepia 1M on the fifth day. Mm. 1M or 10M. Uh, I yeah. found out mm. more better results with 10M. Uh. U4M 200 morning. Mm. Polythylinum 200 night. Mm. Abroma mother tincture mm. 10 drops twice daily diluted in 100 ml of water. water. Mm. Yeah. From 6th mm. day for mm. 21 days. Mm. Next month, instead of sepia, if she doesn't conceive in this, I will put a dose of medarinum. From 6 to 28 days. 6 to 21 days. 21 days. 21 days. days. Mm. Three weeks. Then next, next, instead of sepia, we have to use? Medarinum, one single dose. Okay. Yes. To solve that radium bromide, uh, yes. which potency? Which potency? 200. 200. I got okay. radium brom 200. Give it as a single dose as an intercurrent medicine for gallstone. For gallstone. Polymer. Sir, China, Cardas Marianus, Polesterinum, and Feltauri, I have said. In fact, I have read in one of the specific therapeutics books China 6X, daily morning one dose for 10 days. Then China 6X alternate day for 10 days. Then China 6x one morning, then two days gap. Again for 10 doses. Like that, once in a month, it comes giving for 10 doses. If you give China 6x one morning, then 29 days gap. So it will take almost 18 to 20 months of treatment, but they say all the asymptomatic cases where gallstones has been found out accidentally by doing scanning for some other purpose, this China 6X long-term use takes care of gallstones. We can try in our relatives, in our friends, just give them 6X for a long time and see how they react because they are anyway asymptomatic and with diabetes and with so many surgical uh, side effects, they don't want to go for surgery. It is not disturbing in them at all. Such okay. cases we can try okay. China 6X. Okay, doctor. Another another question is, the question is that, how is your experience with the see, the diabetic peripheral neuropathy? It is you said thallium is one of the best medicine. Thallium. Have you got yes. any, 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 any uh, clear experience uh, from this thallium? See, very often when people come to me, they are already taking Eurobion. Thallium I have given. Which medicine you are saying? Which medicine? You said thallium. Yes. For, say, diabetic... Diabetic neuropathy. Neuropathy. Okay. This gallstone colic. The, the size of gallstone. the gallstone. Gallstone. Yes. Size, I don't know. The patient got symptomatically relief. This cholesterol in white I described... I insisted for last two months to get the scanning done because of his fixed ideas. Like his friend got it done one uh, scanning, they gave the wrong report and something happened to his friend which he doesn't want to disclose me. So every time I tell him to do the scanning, he refuses. But he's a businessman, goes to Dubai and all places. He carries my medicine in spite of eating all the non-veg also. He doesn't get any complaints. So 
religiously every 15 days he comes i give him a dose of china 201 dose followed by cholesterinium six six morning felt tauri in the evening he is absolutely fine now after thinking for a long time one thing is he has fixed ideas of not getting the scanning done so recently i prescribed him a dose of tuja 1m to remove his all his fixed ideas and psychotic base and we all know gallstone is a psychotic miasm where there is accumulation of the debris with that last visit my patient said doctor you give me a note now i will get it done my scanning done i myself don't know whether i'm treating a gallstone or something else but he is better with china cholesterol and felt tauri when he gets done his scanning done i will definitely would like to share with you my email address is meer.amina at gmail.com and my mobile number is 9886464 